Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have coaches at Xavier Elementary and they bought cases of sports drink. So we've got 76 cases. Each case contained 24 drinks. So when we have something like this, let's pause before we keep reading. When we have each case contained the same amount, that means we've got equal groups. And when we see equal groups, that lets us know that we are going to either multiply or divide. Then all the drinks were given out to the students and each student received three. So we've got another set of equal groups. We're going to multiply or divide. So how many students received sports drinks? Let's see if we can draw some strip diagrams to kind of help us out here. So first we need to figure out how many drinks are there. We've got 76 cases and each case is 24 drinks. So I'm just going to put uh, this is our unknown total up here, total drinks. And these are going to be my cases. I'm just going to draw some lines, and then I'm going to just draw an arrow and say 76. I'm not going to draw literally 76 little cases. I'm just going to represent that up there. And inside each of those cases, I've got 24 drinks each. So I can skip count by 24, 76 times. Or probably an easier way for me to go about it is to multiply. I've got that 24 times 76. That's going to be a little bit easier for me. So it looks like we're going to start with some two-digit by two-digit multiplication. Let's start with that 24 times 76. We know how to do that. We learned that in fourth grade. We're going to start with this ones place here. 4 times 6, that's 24. Using the standard algorithm, we go ahead and carry that 2 to make your 24 like that. And then we go to the tens place. 6 times 2 is 12. Add that 2 back in is 14. We can put that right there since we're dealing with the tens place. Cross off that 2 so you don't get confused. Put a 0 in the second row because we're going to start here in the tens place. So the 7 is really 70, but since we got a 0 there, we can just treat it like a 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Same thing, we just put the first digit down. We carry the second digit, and we've got 7 times 2 is 14, and add that 2 is 16. Now we've got two partial products. We add them up, and this is our standard algorithm. And that's going to be 18, 24, 1,824, which is not the answer. We cannot get ahead of ourselves. Remember, this is the total number of drinks. Finally, I know that I have 1,824 drinks because I have 76 cases and each case has 24 drinks. This is my total. Now, I'm trying to figure out how many students receive drinks, not how many drinks there are altogether. Each student received three sports drinks. So now let's draw a new strip diagram. I know my total. I've got 1,824 drinks. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw this right here. I'm going to put them in groups of three. My question is, is how many groups of three can I make out of this 1,824? Because I'm going to put them, each student gets three. So since we're dealing with equal groups, this lets me know it's multiplication revision. And in this case, I'm trying to divide how many, how many times can three go into my 1824? That's what I'm looking for. There's my long division. 3 goes into 18, 24. So 3 goes into 18, 6 times. That's going to be even. Just bring down one number. That's 2. 3 goes into 2, 0 times. Now we're going to bring down this 4. And there we go. 3 goes into 24. 8 times. There's nothing left over, which is nice and even. So now we know that you have 608 students that received three each, answers J.